In the world of construction, the impossible is becoming possible. From bridges that span massive rivers to towers that rise into the sky, China is redefining what's possible when it comes to building things. And they're not just building structures, they're building entire cities. The one that caught everyone's attention the most was the event that took place in 2022, when China built a 57-story skyscraper in just 19 days. That's right, 19 days. This is just one of the many incredible feats of construction in China, where engineering techniques are pushing the boundaries of what's possible. This video will take you on a virtual ride through the cutting edge world of Chinese construction and also answer some of those questions on your mind, including how China managed to pull off these feats. In the journey of China's construction industry, reaching its current economic prowess was no cakewalk. Over the last century, China faced political, financial, and social crises, creating a challenging backdrop for the construction sector's evolution. The construction landscape took a hit after Mao Zedong declared the People's Republic of China in 1949. State ideology casts a shadow on the economy, causing a setback. The industry remained dormant until Deng Xiaoping emerged as a transformative leader. Deng's reforms breathe new life into the construction sector by dismantling the planned economic system, granting more autonomy to construction enterprises, and exploring financial avenues through the stock market. Despite these efforts and the rise of industry giants like China Railway Group Limited and China Railway Construction Corporation Limited, remnants of the outdated economic system lingered. Two pivotal historical periods shaped the construction industry, Mao Zedong's era and Deng Xiaoping's reforms. This same 1949 ushered in a tumultuous era for the Chinese people, having endured the Sino-Japanese War and the Civil War. To grasp the industry's state at this time, one must consider the government's priorities. In the inaugural five-year plan from 1953 to 1957, Vice Premier Minister Li Fuchun emphasized Socialist industrialization will be the major mission for our country. This meant that the focus was on developing heavy industries, relegating the construction sector to the sidelines. This decision stemmed from viewing heavy industry as productive and construction as a costly and negligible sector. This ancient understanding of economic dynamics led to an unbalanced distribution of resources, creating economic instability. The communist government's emphasis on heavy industry bolstered its share in economic activity from 36.2% to 54% in the 1950s to 1960s. However, the construction industry's share remained stagnant or even declined from 50.3% to 28.3%. While heavy industry thrived, the construction sector languished. But all these were going to end when China began to emerge as a global power in the 21st century. Its leaders changed their stance and rather recognized that infrastructure was key to competing with the US and other developed countries. They saw that China's infrastructure lagged far behind that of its rivals, and so they began investing heavily in construction projects across the country. In 2001, China implemented its 10th five-year plan focusing on advancing infrastructure. This led to a remarkable shift, with infrastructure investment soaring from approximately 8% of GDP in 2002 to nearly 24% in 2016. To put this into perspective, during 2002 to 2016, China's infrastructure investment to GDP ratio was twice the average for entire government investment in emerging and low-income countries in 2002 escalating to five times that average in 2016. Notably, China's infrastructure investments surpassed even the 95th percentile of government investments share in GDP for both advanced and emerging economies. This extensive infrastructure development coincided with an impressive average annual real GDP growth rate of 9.6% from 2003 to 2016. One other most striking example of this shift is the development of the Belt and Road Initiative, a massive infrastructure project that has been called the New Silk Road. It is thanks to this effort that China has earned the name, the Construction Magician. Now, let's take a look at some of the groundbreaking projects China has carried out 
that left the world astounded, starting from the event of the San Juan Bridge. When China announced the refurbishment of San Juan Bridge, many expected it to be a project spanning at least three months. However, China had a surprising agenda. Commencing at 11 p.m. on November 13, 2015, the reconstruction of Beijing's San Juan Bridge defied expectations, completing the entire process within a mere 43 hours. Yes, you heard that correctly. Zhou Zhengyu, director of the Beijing Transportation Commission, highlighted that this unprecedented speed in refurbishing a crucial transportation node set a historic record in China. The replacement of over 1,300 tons of the bridge's surface became a technical showcase for the efficient overhaul of large tonnage bridges. The rapid pace of this endeavor left global netizens astounded. Some even lamented the sluggish construction speeds in their own countries, with one remarking, constructing a bridge like this would take three years, to which another netizen wittily retorted, Consider yourself fortunate. It would require three presidents in our country. As if that weren't enough, it made more headlines in 2020. Amidst the surge in COVID-19 cases, responding swiftly to the pandemic's epicenter in Wuhan, China erected two hospitals within two weeks to cater to COVID-19 patients. These two-story structures, primarily composed of prefabricated rooms and components, earned the moniker Instant Hospitals. Bo Shen Shan Hospital, boasting 1,000 beds and symbolizing the Fire God Mountain, commenced operations on February 3. Its counterpart, Li Shen Shan, or Thunder God Mountain, opened five days later with an additional 1,500 beds. While reports suggest Li Shen Shan filled up at a slightly slower pace than Ho Shen Shan, Chinese state media indicates it soon reached near full capacity. Notably, Ho Shen Shan and Li Shen Shan were part of a larger initiative that included 40 hospitals in Wuhan, dedicated to serious and critical care for COVID-19 patients. Additionally, 16 makeshift hospitals were strategically established in repurposed gyms, convention centers, and exhibition spaces to handle mild cases, preventing potential transmission within families. In addition to this feat, there are also rumors going around that China built 20,000 houses in South Africa in just 72 hours. This is something that has never been heard of. Aside from massive support from the government, China possesses some powerful machines that help it carry out tasks swiftly. And the interesting part, other countries like the US are still struggling to develop such machines. China explores the use of the machine called SLJ-932. This technology marvel expedites construction processes, optimizing cost and resources by swiftly managing prefabricated and full-length track sections at a speed of 3.1 miles per hour, or 5 kilometers an hour eliminating the need for extended on-site assembly. Conceived by the Shijia Zhuang Railway Institute and manufactured by the Beijing Wow Joint Machinery Company, the SLJ-932 efficiently constructs expansive bridges with multiple spans. A tangible testament to its capabilities is seen in the Yibin Jinsha River Railway Bridge Project, the world's longest road rail steel arch bridge. Before this project, the journey between Sichuan and the Guizhou provinces took 12 hours, but now it's reduced to 3 hours. Another noteworthy example is a high-speed rail project linking Inner Mongolia to the nation, aligning with China's vision of an 18,641.1 mile long or 30,000 kilometer high-speed rail network. Then there's the groundbreaking Kunlun. A revolutionary 1,000-ton level bridge girder erection machine, marking a significant milestone in engineering. This colossal machine played a pivotal role in constructing the Meizhou Bridge, China's first cross-sea high-speed railway bridge, linking Xiamen and Fuzhou in Fujian province in June 2020. Weighing 967 metric tons and stretching 116 meters in length, with a height of 9.3 meters. The Kunlun comprises over 15,000 parts of diverse shapes. With advanced intelligence, it seamlessly integrates multiple functions, standing out as pioneering equipment for constructing double-line box girders for high-speed rail in China. The machine's capabilities extend to its radar detection laser matrix sensor system, 
enabling precise operation in dark tunnels and automatic correction of deviations within expansive karst caves. But in all, credit also goes to the laborers who make these marvels become a reality. Firstly, with a massive population of 1.4 billion, China leverages a sizable workforce to expedite construction projects. Secondly, the pursuit of financial stability for maintaining and elevating living standards is ingrained in Chinese culture. Family holds paramount importance, and individuals, typically men, strive to secure income for their households. This drive is evident across rural areas, where both spouses migrate to urban centers, working tirelessly to provide for their children's education. Lastly, a profound sense of patriotism among the people prompts a dedicated commitment to state directives. In response to this, individuals exhibit diligence and hard work in construction endeavors in response to the state's commands. While other countries may have to struggle to gain permission before starting a particular project and also deal with lawsuits from the people, it is entirely a different case in China. The people work with the government to achieve milestones. Do you admire this about the Chinese people?